good day to everyone my name is ts dr madhivan jagannathan i'm your introduction to entrepreneurship bpme 1013 lecturer for a211 okay. welcome to my class i hope you will enjoy my class with a lot of uh, fun activities and also the new things that you are going to learn throughout the semester especially on the entrepreneurship okay. basically i'm going to introduce to you few things in this video first i'm going to explain about the syllabus of this subject second is assignments the third thing is quiz 1 and quiz 2 actually quiz 1 and quiz 2 is a replacement of the final exam which supposed to be conducted if you come to class which uh, physically since uh, we are doing class virtually so we have replaced the final exam to quiz 1 and quiz 2 there is no midterm for this class okay let me introduce the syllabus okay before i introduce assignment 1 assignment 2 and followed by presentation and final exam okay so this subject is introduction to entrepreneurship as i mentioned earlier bpme 1013 okay and subject coordinator Okay, the subject coordinator is Dr. Maliani Mohamad. That's why you can see the name, Dr. Maliani Mohamad. Okay, she is the coordinator. She will arrange everything for this class. Okay, synopsis of the class. This class emphasizes the fostering of entrepreneurial culture among the students so that they can embrace entrepreneurial values in everyday life. Students will be exposed to the basics of entrepreneurship. So you are going to learn about you know the basics of entrepreneurship. What does he okay how does entrepreneurship evolve okay and also the current practice of entrepreneurship in malaysia and also at the global level okay concept and theories definitely the first few chapters self development skills and behavior that is very important thing when you run any business the students are also exposed to the development of creative and innovative skills which is most we will stress okay we will stress digital skill in this class okay through assignment 1 2 and 3 as well as business startup process okay this course will expose student to several method of starting business that will serve small businesses and medium enterprises okay so throughout the semester we are expecting okay students are expected to understand the concept and importance of entrepreneurship understand the business environment and entrepreneurial skills develop business platform through website and social media which is your assignment prepare a business plan okay third learning outcome so what are you going to learn okay first you will uh, end of this course student able to explain the concept and importance of entrepreneurship which means when people ask what is entrepreneurship you are able to explain to the person who asked the question second is discuss the business environment and entrepreneurial skills so you will learn uh, about the business environment and also you will learn some new skills especially on digital okay digital skill and how to start a business how to have a discussion with the group mates you know is 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 actually uh, entrepreneurial skill as well okay. and third demonstrate a business platform through website and social media so you are going to develop a simple website and social media like a facebook instagram youtube channel and so on uh, for your business okay the actual business is not a you know a dummy business actual business very simple business it can be anything okay and finally you have to prepare a business plan okay, i will explain in assignment 1 and assignment 2 okay let us see the reference book okay you have to uh, we don't have any specific reference book but you, you can refer to this textbook okay uh Okay, uh, from the Rosli. Okay, this textbook written in Malay. Okay, you can refer to this book and also another book you can refer, and you can refer to this book Kuratko 
entrepreneurship theory process and practice this book is quite a good book for the english version so you may refer to these books okay okay let us see uh, what are the topics you are going to learn throughout the semester okay all together there are 11 chapters okay 11 chapters okay first chapter is introduction to Okay, first chapter introduction to entrepreneurship so you're going to learn about the concept of entrepreneurship theories models you know and also the importance of the entrepreneurship okay and also you will learn little bit about entrepreneurship development in malaysia uh, basically entrepreneurship development was uh, accelerated or really uh, stressed around 1970s okay Okay, and another one is entrepreneurship in Islamic perspective. So you will learn about uh, the viewpoint of you know entrepreneurship in Islamic perspectives. Okay, second is you will learn about the entrepreneurs uh, characteristics of entrepreneurs. Okay, uh, including entrepreneur entrepreneurship myth factors that encourage participation. So sometimes you know there are pushy factors and also pull factors. to enable a person to be an entrepreneur okay and also you will learn about the characteristics of entrepreneurs okay and you will learn about you know the difference between the businessman entrepreneur and the corporate entrepreneur you will learn detail and the most important thing is entrepreneurial ethics okay one okay the third one is you will learn about business environment so when you talk about you know a business environment only two either external or internal okay so there are some details i will cover during the uh, class room okay and also you will learn entrepreneur networking networking is very important so networking with your uh, supplier networking with your customer networking with the government agencies this is very important when you run a business because net networking will make you more successful and finally you will learn in chapter 3 opportunity recognition how you can recognize the opportunities okay there are way to recognize the opportunities and type of uh, opportunity recognition okay fourth topic is a uh, very interesting topic creativity and innovation in entrepreneurship okay concept of creativity and innovation so both element Okay, both element which is creativity and innovation should connected each other. Then only you can come out with the the most innovative product. Okay, and second is method in generating creative ideas. So how to be very creative? So there are methods. Okay, and source of innovation. Okay, source of innovation. Okay, source of innovation. and also the process of creativity and innovation this one okay and and also the barriers to creativity and innovation so there are sometimes you know we, we want to be very creative but there are some barriers for example stereotype thinking sometimes there is no freedom in the workplace so it, all of this can be a barrier okay and creative climate in organization okay creative climate so organization should create a creative climate in order to increase the creativity and innovation among the workers okay the fifth topic is a digital entrepreneurship so this is one of the important topic okay uh, digital entrepreneurship mean how entrepreneurs involve in the digit uh, in a digital uh, you know marketing digital innovation or digital you know uh, platform to make a better business or to increase a sales okay and you will learn the rise of entrepreneurship in digital spaces the digital entrepreneurship environment so how does it looks like okay and also key actors resources and technologies to facilitate digital entrepreneurship okay you need a digital technologies in order to um perform better than other companies you can see you know during covid 19 people are shifting okay people are shifting to 
digital entrepreneurship like you know they move to the cloud kitchen you know like a food panda you know grab food and so on okay and these are so called digital entrepreneurship techniques okay chapter 6 is business plan okay introduction to bmc okay bmc mean business model canvas okay you can google and see business model canvas there are uh, nine components you have to plot your business uh, structure over there like your financial structure and you know uh, your customer and so on okay so you will learn in this class and also you will learn type of business plan and who need a business plan who should write a business plan okay anyone can write a business plan but normally entrepreneurs new startup companies will write a business plan because business plan is a reference for them okay and why business plan is so important and also components of the business plan there are so many components so i will detail out everything during the classroom okay during teaching and learning okay seventh topic is business startup so when you want to start a business uh, you have a lot of choices okay to start your business whether you scratch you start your business from scratch acquire or franchise okay basically you can start your business by using three methods as i mentioned earlier scratch acquire or franchise okay this mean you can start your own business or you can buy out from others or you can do the franchise business or else you can do the licensing methods and so on okay and you will learn about the you know legal form of the business entities business document and procedures and business exit strategies okay you will learn all of this in this topic okay and uh, topic 8 this is the one of the most challenging part of the entrepreneurs business financing okay uh, financing methods sometimes you know uh, there are a lot of methods you know to get uh, investment for your business sometimes you know you use your own money sometimes uh, you can get a loan from bank or any financial institution or you can get the grant from the government or you can get the investment from the investors or you can use your savings to run your business okay and the ninth topic is global market so once you have set up the business your business is going very well so most likely and definitely most of you will think about going for global market because when you go for the global market you will get a uh, better exposure for your business and also you can increase your sales so that is about global market eh? okay so you will learn about business life cycle okay business life cycle i think you know okay introductory then growth maturity and declining that is life cycle you know okay and benefits of global business okay you learn about benefits okay like increase your sales uh or you can do more innovation and so on okay preparation steps prior to enter the global market okay entering the global market it's mean what are the preparation for example you have to do financial preparation document preparation and so on there are some steps okay and method of global market method of global market there are so many methods you know you can do export you can do import you can do licensing you can do franchising and so on okay and global business barriers okay. there are so many global business barriers sometimes you know the barriers could be from the government for them for tax sometimes subsidy okay subsidize okay sometimes you know uh, uh some trade barrier like you know embargo and so on okay you will learn all of this in this topic okay topic 10 is about small and medium enterprises this is very simple topic you will learn about what are uh, meaning of the smes in malaysia small medium small and medium enterprises three types are eh? small medium and enterprises okay but in malay uh, sorry in malaysia we call it small and medium enterprises some country they call it msc medium small and enterprises okay depends okay so you will learn about sme landscape in malaysia the challenges faced by smes and so on And the last topic is the social entrepreneurship. You will learn about conceptual overview of social entrepreneurship, and also the role of social entrepreneurs. Social entrepreneurs mean those who are doing business, but they 
embed okay embed some social components in their business and they will look into SROI social return of investment it means they are investing money the profit is not a major role or major component but they will think what are the social returns okay so I will expose a lot of things about social entrepreneurship in this topic so all together you will learn 42 hours it means every class one and a half hour per week you will have you know three hours and 14 weeks class 14 times 3 uh, 42 hours but not all the classes are face to face classes some classes are pre-recorded classes okay signalers and asynchronous classes and sometimes I will give some assignments to replace or to cover the topic it means that assignment will cover the topic that you're supposed to cover for example small and medium enterprise maybe you will do some group discussion or the group assignment to understand the topic okay okay delivery mode uh, due to COVID-19 so we are going to do online learning you're using online UEM online learning I think you know UEM online learning I will exp I will tell you how to use remote learning and virtual group discussion okay basically okay our class is fully formative assessment okay there is no summative assessment summative means final exams okay final exam so there is no midterm there is no final exam for this class okay but your assessment are assignment one assignment two and presentation okay i will explain one by one and you will have a two intensive quizzes which is okay two intensive quizzes sorry chapter 1 to 5 20% chapter 6 to 11 20% so uh, regarding the date we will announce i have to get the consent from the course coordinator okay so let us go to uem online learning okay Oh, sorry. Okay. So I have updated all the node syllabus and so on. So you can see that over there. Okay, for example, uh, uh, group D. So I have uh, two groups. Group D and R. Okay. Group D and group R. Let me show to you group D. Okay. Same. Okay. Both group notes assignments are same. Okay. Okay, so this is your interface of UEM online learning. So I have updated the most important thing. Okay, I will explain to you one by one. Okay, first of all, you have to join, you know, WhatsApp group. Okay, group R, you have to join this WhatsApp group. Okay, to ease our communication. Okay, second is you have to fill up your particular like this. Okay, student by the form, just fill up your full name, metric number, your class DOR and COB and contact number, email ID and your 
FB address and highest academic qualification like STPM or matriculation or you know other certification okay occupation of your father uh, if your father passed away already okay no more uh, please just put dash okay uh, my family involved in the business okay if s just say s just declare it okay i'm not going to ask any uh, singles penny from you eh? okay okay i involved in the business if you involved in the business your assignment is done almost done okay so yes okay and your expectation in this course okay that is the first task you have to do second is you go to my subscribe okay my youtube channel okay sorry you can go to my youtube channel okay then you can subscribe my channel why i ask you to go to my youtube channel because you can learn a lot of things over here uh, for example i have a lot of uh, tutorials on you know uh, digital marketing that you can use for your class like you build your own web website development for your assignment you can watch these videos and you can learn and also for the digital marketing you can watch uh, this video so i explain about you know uh, digital marketing this one learn digital marketing with okay this one so okay so you can learn uh, about digital marketing okay for your assignment purpose okay and also uh you can watch youtube video uh about how to use ess ess is to answer the midterm how to answer midterm okay i will come back to this one afterwards okay okay you can click the channel like this then it will direct okay and i have uploaded all the assignment syllabus over here okay for the assignment assignment 1 assignment 2 assignment 3 all of your assignments okay you have to click when you want to submit your assignment only the group leader need to submit assignment okay just click like this and you have to submit okay like this okay it's going to be like this sorry okay so you have to upload the assignment okay so you you can download the assignment over here okay so you just click and you have to submit okay okay that is about the submission of the assignment and also all the notes has been uploaded over here okay all the notes until chapter 11 i will update this contents time to time sometimes you know i will give you the uh, some activities so i will update here and i will notify to you through whatsapp group so you have to be very alert and check my whatsapp group okay okay let us see one by one eh? so we have covered about the syllabus okay and you am online learning okay now we go to assignment 1 assignment 2 and presentation and two intensive quizzes okay before i go to the assignment 1 2 and 3 let me tell you about the two intensive quizzes so these quizzes you have to do in uem online learning which is e assessment okay then we will announce okay so how to do that you go here and you will see like uh, in your portal you UUM e assessment you go here you click and you have to log in as usual okay okay for example my student eh oh i don't know okay let's say one of my student eh okay she is one of my student okay chitra uh, madhuramuthu okay 
Okay, so what she will do is she will click, let's say, uh, midterm entrepreneurship. Okay, for the class, another class. Okay, she will click here, midterm, and she will click the button. Okay, now it's not available because this class, the midterm is already over. Okay, so you have to go to the e assessment. Okay, you have to go and click. Then only you can be very act, uh, you can be active in e assessment. Okay, very simple. Just log in and it will be automatically activated. So how to do that? You can see in my video as well. Okay, this is uh, you see. Um, you can see in my YouTube channel e assessment. Okay, how to answer e assessment? For example, like this. You can do. Sorry. Okay, you see, I have a video step by step how to go to e, e assessment. Okay, uh, enter your username, login. Okay, then you go here. Okay, uh, then click, click. Okay, like this. You click here, midterm, and once you click, you will see the button like this. You click, choose your midterm based on the class. Okay, this is for the you know part time students. So you just click. Okay. Then continue. Then you will see like this. Okay, you click that. Then you can uh, answer the question. Very simple. Answer the question. Okay, we will set the time. Okay, uh, we will set the time. You know, time left. Okay, 53 minutes. Then, if let's say you finish earlier, you just click finish attend. Uh, so, it will show, you know, if you don't, not yet answer, it will share. So, you do, if you don't want to answer, just submit. Finish. Okay. So, this is a way of answering question through e-assessment. Especially for the semester 1 student. Maybe you are not aware about the e-assessment system. Okay. Okay. So that is about 40% intensive quizzes, chapter 1 until chapter 5, first quiz, second quiz is chapter 6 to 11. So normally after week 6 or 7, we will do first quiz and after week 14, we will do uh, second quiz. Okay, no worries. Okay. Okay, back to this one. So again, I show to you this one. So as I mentioned to you just now. Okay. Final exam is not final exam, quiz 1 and quiz 2. And you will have assignment 1, business plan, first assignment, 20% marks. Prepare a business plan, proposal, 7 to 10 members. Okay. Each group, you should have 7 to 10 members. Cannot be less, cannot be more than 10. If you, more, if you include more than 10 members or less than 7 members, I will deduct marks. Because you fail to manage your group members. Most important thing. Okay. And this assignment, after you prepare the same group, after you prepare a business plan, you have to do assignment two, online business. Start your own, own online business. Online business based on the business plan, the first business plan. And online business, okay, you have to include website, social media, Facebook, Instagram, and so on. And you have to record online sales. And based on the assignment that you have done, assignment 1 and assignment 2, you have to prepare a presentation. Okay, presentation. For my class, you have to record the live, record or live presentation, depends. Okay. Uh, if let's say I will set the live presentation, you have to come and present. If I say, okay, if I say, let's say, okay, all of you have to record and upload, then you have to upload. Okay, three things. Okay, now we go one by one. I explain one by one, assignment 1, 2 and 3. Okay, what is assignment two? Sorry, assignment one. Okay, assignment one, this one. Okay, assignment one is a business plan and business model canvas. So you, what you have to do is you have to identify a product or service that you want to uh, sell through online. Okay, 
or offline but you have to sell through online then only you can complete the assignment too okay so it can be you know any product but if let's say you have no product at all maybe you can you want to do uh, drop uh, drop shipping or you are you have a friend that are selling a product maybe you can be a retailer or reseller okay reseller of that product you get the product or your father is doing business okay one of your group member let's say out of 10 group members one uh, candidate father doing all uh, doing business maybe you can get the product from that particular person and you can resell it okay it's up to you how do you want to do business any business as long as it's not the illegal business in malaysia okay no worries i will create a google form you have to register what you want to sell for this class okay you have to decide within first three weeks or two weeks don't wait until week 10 then it's going to be a problem for you okay okay first in your assignment you have to first seminar you have to prepare an executive summary of your business okay a quick introduction of the into the main topics short overview of your enterprise it can be very small business just selling one product or many products it depends okay second is you have to introduce introduction of your business product service current status and founding funding sort okay funding maybe uh, 2000 ringgit or 1000 ringgit or 100 ringgit depends okay you can start with the 100 ringgit no problem okay uh, for example maybe you can uh, out of 10 members maybe 10 ringgit 10 ringgit, 10 ringgit you buy the one product and you are selling that product and you get the return and you are selling okay you i want you learn something new from this class okay and you have to do market planning okay how do you want to do market plan for your product okay. there are a lot of examples you know you can check in the internet okay but don't copy paste make it as an example okay okay and management and organizational plan you can uh, get it okay uh, you can plan for it and organizational plan and financial plan you have to do okay and your financial plan only for the 12 weeks not for the you know one year eh? only for 12 weeks remember okay and you have to do business model canvas i will teach in the class and also before i teach anything in the class you go and learn by yourself for example you click this one you can go to this website there are so many tutorials in the website okay uh, sorry this one is not available uh, ah sanitizer okay 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 you go here and sanitizers.com okay you can get you know dashboard you just sign up and get the canvas and also you can get the books okay download business model canvas and you just fill up okay i will explain to you in this uh, about the business model canvas in the classroom chapter six okay don't worry okay that is about assignment one okay and conclusion and you have to prepare the document drawings if applicable okay these are assignment guidelines okay i here i put the you know uh, eight to ten members actually it's a uh, seven to ten members okay 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 it can be seven or eight but make sure at least seven okay and the group leader shall okay sh shall submit the names of the group members to their respective and you have to complete the assignment by week 12 exclude your midterm break okay and these are something you have to follow don't simply you know do you know any font font arial 11 1 1.5 spacing only okay and all of this you can read penalty clause plagiarism and so on okay and i will evaluate your assignment based on this let's say you have no executive summary so you will lose five marks 
okay if let's say there is no component about business you will lose another five marks similarly marketing plan and so on so you have to include everything in your business plan otherwise you will lose your marks overall presentation mean uh, it's not a presentation you know you're talking presentation means how you present your assignment it's mean the way you write the assignment sometimes you know first page justify second page is not justified third page aerial fourth page times news roman i don't want something like that i want very niche and steady okay so make sure you refer to the rubric okay okay first assignment business plan okay in order to prepare a business plan you can uh, refer to the internet you know there are a lot of examples and also there are some softwares you know maybe you can use a bispro there is one software you can use bispro uh, bispro business plan i think Uh, this one business plan pro life plan okay but you have to buy okay uh, it's very expensive uh, so maybe you can try the you know uh, who knows trial version okay uh, you can try but this one is per month is a uh, you know uh, 20 i think okay uh, so in this one you can do or what you can do is you can use the template in your microsoft word as well Okay, you can use template, go here, you just type, then you edit business plan. Oh, sorry. Oh, wrong method. Okay, not here. Okay, go here, search here. Business plan. Okay, search. Then you can search, ah, you see, home business plan, healthcare business plan, professional service business plan. Okay, you just click, it will download, then you can include your contents in this template, make it better. You see, executive summary, company overview, business description, market analysis, operating plan, then you include everything. But don't copy paste here, it's just a template, okay, you have to include. Okay, that is basically about assignment one. Now we move to assignment two. Okay, assignment two, which is okay. Assignment two is okay, actually continuity from the assignment one. If you have not prepared business plan, you cannot. Assignment one and assignment two you have to do concurrently, it means by the time you have prepared your business idea, okay, business plan, you plan, okay, it's just a plan, you know, okay, you just plan and you have to run your business over here, okay, in your assignment too. Okay, so it's basically continuity, that's why, you know, I put like a leader, okay, you will get 20% if you prepare this one, okay, then you have to prepare. Concurrently mean, oh, you have to submit week 12, this assignment, so I have to start this assignment too after week 12, no. You have to start concurrently both assignment okay concurrently you have to start your assignment okay. then after that only week after week 12 then only you prepare your presentation this one after week 12 you prepare your presentation assignment uh, three but combination of the assignment one and two okay let us see one by one okay assignment two Assignment 2 is about the online business. It's very simple. When you prepare your business plan, is your task going to be very simple. Okay, this assignment is students are required to implement and execute, execute the business plan, assignment 1, in the form of online business. So, it means you have to do online business. Students are required to sell their product through online. Okay, you may refer the following guideline in order to accomplish this task. Okay, these are the guidelines. Students are required to sell any product through social media. Social media means uh, FB, Instagram, and so on. Okay, you can use the Shopee also. If you want to go beyond, you can 
sell your product through Shopee. Okay. But I want social media, FB or Instagram. Very important. Okay. And WhatsApp can be utilized also. Everything you have to print screen. This assignment is just a print screen. Okay. I will explain. And students are required to promote their product through social media platform by using teaser, soft sell and hard sell. Okay. Students are to be advised. Okay. Students are advised. Sorry. To optimize relevant social media advertising tools like a YouTube and so on. Okay. And students are advised to get the likes, followers and post engagement and post reach and so on. Okay. After that, okay, second task, you have to do a simple website. Okay, simple website. Okay. The website should contain information, business promotion and about business. Okay. And for the website, you can refer to my YouTube channel. You can use, you know, uh, Google site, Wix, Weebly, and so on. Okay. So still 8 to 10 members. Same members, are eh? not a different group. Eh? Okay. Based on group assignment 1, it is expected the content. Okay. First, you don't need to do anything, you know, just a print screen. Print screen of your social media, FB page, of your business page. Instagram or Shopee, whatever is it you're using. But you must have FB and Instagram compulsory. Okay. Second, you must create a promotion, teaser, soft sell, and hard sell. Okay, I will show the examples. And you have to get business insights. Okay, what is business insight? I will show the, some example of assignment. And you have to record the sales record. How to record the sales record? Uh, you have to go to this one. Uh, I think you have... Uh, you need to check my UEM online learning. I have uploaded this guideline. You have to go to Go e-commerce portal. I will explain about Go e-commerce portal after this. Okay. Okay. So you have to do this one, and each group must submit a complete online business report by week 14. Uh, week what? Week 14, eh? So after week submission of the week assignment one, week one, uh, week 12, sorry. Week 12, then week 14, you have to submit the assignment 2. Okay. And students are, ah, this is very important. You have to register Go Commerce Portal, which is this one. Okay. Uh, I will explain to you. You can check how to register e commerce portal. You can go to my uh, YouTube channel. But it's slightly different compared to the current one, but more or less uh, you can check, watch. Okay, this one. You can go and watch this video. Uh, this one. Go e-commerce portal. Okay, 10 months ago I uploaded. Okay. Okay. So how to register? Go and watch this video. Okay, go to my YouTube channel. Okay, then subscribe and watch this YouTube channel. How to register e-commerce portal. Okay. okay, so you can, I will show to you, but in the meantime, you can watch my YouTube channel, YouTube video, okay. Okay, and make sure you follow this one. Okay, group assignment specification, very important. Okay, uh, how to create a Facebook ads. Uh, I have uh, some examples over here. Okay, you can read this one. And please refer to this one. If you don't include social media page, I will deduct five marks. If there is no promotional teaser, no five marks. So you have to fulfill all of this. Rubric. Okay, I will give marks based on this. Please refer that one. Okay. 32 marks. Okay. Okay. As I promised, so I will show to you some examples of assignment one and assignment two. Remember, assignment one is a business plan. You have to submit week 12. And assignment two is an online business. It's a continuity. It's not a continuity. Actually, you have to do uh, concurrently 
with your assignment one and assignment two concurrently. Concurrently means same time. You have to do that assignment. Okay. So assignment one is business plan. Very straightforward. You have to do uh, based on the component that I have requested or I have uh, listed. Okay. Assignment two is online business. It's just a print screen. Okay. You have to put all the print screen according to the uh, list that I have provided here. Okay. Task one and task two. Task one, uh, you have to sell product. And you have, task two is you have to build a website. Okay. Let us see example. Assignment one. Okay. This is assignment one. Business plan and business model canvas. Okay. You see. They detail, detail out everything. Okay. Assignment one. Okay. So first you have to include your rubric. Okay. Because I will give marks. Your marks in the rubric. Okay. Okay. Executive summary. Okay. They explain. Then they go to the introduction to our business. Everything. Okay. Like this. Okay. Okay. They are products. They are selling, you know, Koi Kapit. Okay. Koi Kapit. Uh, four types of koi kapit. Just one product, koi kapit, but four types. Okay. So maybe they get from the machi, you know, machi or pachi. Okay. Then they sell. No need to sell, you know, the supercomputers. Just do some simple business to learn the process. You are going to learn the process. Okay. If you are doing, let's say you are doing, you know, any business right now, then you can. Uh, use that business or you can adopt that business into this assignment. No problem. Okay. You just continue. Okay. Current status. Short term strategies and so on. Okay. You see. They detail out everything one by one. Okay. This is the organizational plan. Okay. Okay. Then they go for their operational plan. And they introduce their product application advantages and so on. Operational flow chart. Okay. And so on. Okay. And one by one, okay, until they go to business model canvas. This is a business model canvas, very simple one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine components. Okay, then conclusion. This is assignment one. Okay. Assignment two, it's okay. If you do, if you fail to do assignment one, definitely you cannot do assignment two. You must make sure you prepare very well, you know, very structured assignment one. Okay, the same group. Okay. You have to include the rubric. Okay. Uh, they just write a little bit about online business. And they put their social media business page, Facebook page, Instagram business page. If you want to include the Shopee also can, Lazada also can, no problem. And they put the teaser. Uh, teaser. Teaser means they introduce the product, okay, before they launch the product. Teaser. Okay. Then soft sell. Okay. Then they go to what is soft sell, what is hard sell? Uh, I will show one platform you can learn by yourself. Okay. Instagram hard sell. Okay. You see. Then they go to their promotional teasers. Only print screen, you know. With the caption, better you put the caption figure one, but they already put the title in the you know top, no problem. Okay, soft sell and Facebook art sell and Facebook marketplace. Ah, they use the Facebook marketplace as well. Okay, Facebook marketplace. Okay. Then business inside. Business inside. You have to go to uh, when you have a business page, FB business page. Uh, you can check their Facebook business insights. Okay. How to check? You go and check in the YouTube. Okay. I will teach in the class as well. Okay. Instagram business insights. 
okay then they go to their post impression interaction everything they include audience 60 followers okay and they prepare a website okay website and you have to provide the link you know i think uh, they provide the link in the first page uh, here i think it's still available uh, the website is still available you see uh, koi copy the website very simple website very nice okay okay and they include every page contact page product page you know and finally you have to include this one as i mentioned students are registered required to register go commerce portal just now i showed to you you have to go to e commerce portal and if you want to know you can watch my youtube as well okay uh, and you register once you register you will get a portal then you have to record your sales for example your case you have to record the october november and december sales like this you can get the record all of that before that you have to register and record and every student need to register it's not only the group leader everyone need to register and you have to record the sales but how to record the sales okay let's say your sales is 100 okay your sales is 100 then you can divide 100 divided by 10 members maybe 10 so you go to your portal just record 10 ringgit only not 100 ringgit because your total sales is 100 you want to divide by the 10 members so 10 10 or oh, depend on you maybe the first person 20 percent second person five percent third person uh 10 percent uh, something like that percentage okay depend on you how you divide your sales but each and every student should register the portal okay then you can include the main only but they include all sales no problem okay you're not going to print you know so you can submit as long you know uh, you can no matter okay as long as you can put in the pdf or in the word okay you just put I think you have to put in the word, then you convert into PDF. Okay. Okay, like this. You see? They put everything, you know. This is just an example, but it's not a perfect one. You can do better things. Okay. So now we go to the Go Commerce portal. You see how COVID-19 affects our this group put a lot of efforts. How COVID-19 pandemic affect our sales, everything they put, you know. They explain one by one. Okay. Uh, and they put each and everyone's portal. Uh, it means you have to put, you know, uh, Noor Akida portal. So I have to see one by one. Otherwise, I won't give the marks. Nicholas portal. One Noraida. Sia Enbun portal. Muhammad Ashra portal. Okay. One Nur Azlina portal and so on. You see, ten members portal. And these are some example of the bank statement. They are doing some sales, real sales. Okay, don't not play play one. Eh? And they prove they have conducted a meeting. This is extra work for them. This is one of the good assignment. Okay. So now we go to how to go to e-commerce portal okay so what you do is you just click here e-commerce portal just type go e-commerce portal okay in google okay then you will go here LMS learning management system go commerce just click okay okay so I have uh, I have to log out because I already log in so once you go here so you have to log in eh? okay okay like uh, I'm going to use my 
X student portal. Okay. Before you use this portal, register your account here. Register your account. Put your identity card number or passport number. If you have registered the M uh, this portal, just log in. Maybe you have registered in other classes. Maybe another class. Maybe management class or marketing class. You have registered the e-commerce portal. You don't need to register again. So what you do is, you just log in. Okay. If you forgot your password, you click here. Okay. Just log in. Okay. So in this portal, there are three things you can check. Okay. Okay, track your business, test your e-business readiness, learn online. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, you can learn wonderful things from e-commerce portal. You cannot learn everything from my class. You have to put some effort to learn from external site, which is e-commerce. Okay, go e-commerce portal or any other platform. You have to uh, put a lot of effort to learn something new. Okay, so if you want to learn, you just go learn online. Just click. Okay. In this portal, okay, you can Shopee University. Uh, if you click this one, you will learn everything about Shopee. How to do business. Click here to join. Boost your sales in Shopee. Getting start with everything. You just click here. Yeah? Improve your business operation. Or oh, okay, Shopee University. I just click click here. So it will bring to seller account. Okay, I have account, so it directly go there. Okay, but I don't sell anything. I just uh, learn Shopee because I have attended few trainings, Shopee trainings for the purpose of class. Okay. Okay. Apart from that, what are the things you can learn? Okay, like an e-commerce program, search engine optimization, Instagram, Facebook. Okay, you click Facebook. How to do business through Facebook? Uh, you go and learn from here. Click. It's quite late there. Eh? I don't know why. Okay. So there are so many things you know. Uh, you go and learn. And when you complete, you will get, I think you will get points if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Go and learn. Join. Okay. Join. You try and see this one okay and there are so many things you know uh, creative content business management intro to e-commerce branding e dagang logistic and so on okay you can learn all of this okay that is e-commerce portal to learn by yourself okay okay that is Okay, that is about learning, uh, learn online, e-commerce portal. Okay, and track your business. This one, another one, track your business. Okay, track your business. You have to uh, update your my business and my profile. You have to click this one, my profile and my business. Then only you can see something like this. Okay, that is track your business and test your, this one doesn't work. Okay, I don't know why. Okay. And report your sales. Actually, report your sales and this one, same. Okay. So, what, what I'm going to do is, you have to report. Okay. First is, you click home and you see home what happened. It will go back to the home button. Okay. So, it will go to the home. Okay. The three buttons. Okay. If you want a webinar repository, webinar repository means uh, webinars, you know, the past webinars repository. You can click and you can learn something else also. Uh, see, you can join as well. Okay, this is for the learning purpose. Okay. Now we go to the track your business or report your sales. Okay, I click report your sales. So what you have to do is, 
like this one love frozen october no sales i think uh, 2021 maybe last year 2020 maybe uh, november we see no sales because this is just used one semester ah uh, see last december they have a sales they recorded 20 ringgit total profit so maybe uh, this is one account maybe they have a sales 200 ringgit so they divide by 10 so each person record 20 20 something like that okay so you have to record like that okay for that you have to update your profile like uh, you know uh, this one okay and my business okay you have to update this one then you have to add transaction this is how you update if your transaction is offline not online so you put off, uh, offline and your date and amount and you put description and submit the report and it mean let's say your sales is uh, 200 ringgit okay 20 and your category is uh, goods and your sub category let's say uh, stock and this is your sales your expenses maybe you spend 100 ringgit it mean the cost of the product 100 ringgit but you are selling 100 ringgit so your profit is uh, around 100 ringgit so you submit and you submit okay this is uh, october right uh, now you see this is october sales so the sales is monthly sales is 200 okay so i have to click this one goods what are my expenses stock so i put 100 okay uh, okay me so now you see different your sales is 200 your expenses is 100 okay so your total profit is only 100 so i want to see something like this okay So that's why you have to record the sales. Very very important. If you fail to record the sales, uh, you I will deduct marks. So each and every group member need to record the sales. You divide the sales uh, by your group members. Let's say ten, ten. Okay, two hundred divided by ten. Okay. Ah, uh, you have to record. You can record total or you can record by month. Better by month. Easy to track. Okay. That is the thing. Okay. So that is so called assignment two e-commerce portal. Okay, very clear. Okay, now we go to okay assignment one clear, assignment two clear, assignment three presentation. Presentation you have to do this one. Very simple. Okay, students are required to prepare a oral presentation based on the assignment. business plan proposal and assignment 2 so you have to conclude assignment 1 and assignment 2 yeah, and you have to present what is your business and what were your sales it mean your record and everything you have to present okay prepare a recorded presentation by using any video editing software you can use any software record it okay then as usual the same group member and by week 14 you have to submit this one okay then you have to follow all of this organization subject knowledge eye contact don't you know take the book and read the book eh? ah so you have to follow these techniques okay i have some example i can show to you okay 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 this is one of the example video uh from previous semester students okay
okay so that is the last assignment so basically uh, you have to do three assignment two quizzes only five components for this class okay let me recap everything before i end the session Okay, uh, so assignment one, you have to do business plan by week 12, you have to submit. Okay, and assignment two by week 14, you have to submit. Okay, and week assignment one and assignment two, you have to do concurrently. And from the assignment one and assignment two, you have to prepare a presentation. Okay, then final exam. Okay, it's not a final exam actually, it's a quiz one and quiz two. Okay, it's just a replacement. Okay. So quiz 1, chapter 1 to 5, we will announce the date and also quiz 2, chapter 6 to 11, okay, through e-assessment, okay. Okay, thank you very much. So I hope all of you can follow the instruction and do uh, the assignments as instructed. Thank you very much.